In this video, I want to show you the most important formatting keyboard shortcuts to help you quickly and effectively format your text when working in Microsoft Word. The first shortcut I want you to know is Control B. This will bold whatever is selected in your document. So I'm going to click here, hold the Shift key, and then I'll click after the Y in Liberty. It selects that piece of text. Now I just need to hold Control and tap B, and that line of text is now bolded. Next, we have Control i for italicize. Let's say I want to italicize the words the living. I'll click before the T, hold Shift, click after the G. Now that that's selected, Control i to italicize that text. Next, we have Control u for underline. I'll click where I want to begin the underlining, hold Shift, click where I want to end the underlining, and then Control u to underline all of that text. Our next formatting keyboard shortcut is Control r and this enables me to quickly align my paragraph to the right side of the text area. So I've clicked here, just somewhere inside my first paragraph. I'll hold Control and tap R. Now that entire paragraph is aligned to the right. If I want to align it to the center, hold Control, tap E. Whatever paragraph the cursor is in will now be center aligned. What about left? Left is Control L. And we do have one other option, and that is Justify. Control J justifies the text. And that just means that the text and letter spacing and alignment is arranged so that it fully takes advantage of the left and right side of the area that we have available for the text. So that's often a good option. I'm going to hold Control and tap L to take it back to left align this text. The next shortcut is Control, Shift, and the greater than symbol. And what this does is it increases the font size of whatever is selected. So how many times have we selected text and then gone up here to adjust the font size to make it just the right size? Well, you don't actually have to do that. You don't even have to just use this quick option bar that pops up. That's another way to change the font quickly. But instead, you could just hold Control, hold Shift, and then tap the greater than symbol on your keyboard. Just keep tapping it to make the text bigger and bigger until it's perfect. If you need to go the other direction, it's Control, Shift, and the less than symbol. So this is a better way to quickly get the text just the right size that you're looking for. And the reason it's better is because you can eyeball it and see exactly what the effect will look like instead of having to guess and click up here to change the font size. Now, if you are absolutely sure that you only want to increase or decrease the font size by exactly one point, then you don't need to hold Control, Shift, greater than, or less than. You could just hold Control and then tap the right square bracket key. Just tap it once, it increases by one point. Control, left square bracket key takes you the other direction. So, in effect, these are just two different ways to increase the font size. You could use control shift greater than less than or control right square bracket or control left square bracket. Now what if I decide that I like the formatting that I've done here in this first paragraph so much that I'd like to copy it to the other paragraphs below. I would just select the text whose formatting I like and then of course I could use the format painter. If you want to learn more about the format painter watch some of my other videos that cover the format painter in Word and also in Excel. But in this video, I want to show you a shortcut to copying this formatting. Just hold Control, hold Shift, and tap C on the keyboard for copy. And now I want to paste that formatting down here to the second paragraph. I'll triple click on that second paragraph and it highlights the whole paragraph. Control, Shift, V pastes not the words that I had selected, but the formatting that I had selected. And so for that reason, I really didn't have to select all of that phrase. I could have just selected one word, Control, Shift, Copy, and then when you're pasting, it is important that you highlight everything that you're going to paste the formatting onto. Control, Shift, V to apply that same formatting to whatever text you have selected. The last Microsoft Word formatting shortcut that I want you to know is how to show or hide formatting marks. Every once in a while in Microsoft Word, you kind of get yourself into a corner where you've applied so much formatting and you don't really understand what is causing your text to look a certain way. If that ever happens, or if for any other reason you want to see the formatting that's happening in your document, you can show the formatting marks by holding the control key, holding the shift key, and tapping the asterisk key. So now you can see where I have spaces, 
Each of these represents a space, this represents a new paragraph, and you can see a few other formatting symbols that help me understand what's happening to my text and why it's displaying the way it is. When I'm done looking at the formatting marks, it's Control, Shift, and then Asterisk, and the formatting marks are hidden again. So if you can practice these and train yourself to use these formatting keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft Word, I promise you, it's going to make your use of Microsoft Word so much more effective and efficient. You'll be able to keep your hands on the keyboard more, and you'll really enjoy using Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the Thanks button below the video. Or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. And please do share this video and my other videos with your coworkers, friends, and family so that they can learn the same material as you and so I can keep making these videos.